example, maybe you struggle to pick or use up all the apples or other fruit maybe you have in your yard or your neighbor's yard. Well, this next story is for you. There's a nonprofit in Victoria that sends volunteers to pick the fruit, share in the harvest, and donate all the extra to people in need. Here's Tess Van Stratton. It wouldn't be autumn without the harvest. And at this Life Cycles Project Society Community Sharing Day at Welland Orchard in View Royal, it's all about the apples. It is an incredible variety of heritage apples that they have here um, and getting to taste and try some ones that I have never heard about. And most of these apples, and there are too many varieties to count, have come from Greater Victoria backyards and were picked by Life Cycles volunteers. If we weren't in place to go and, and get the fruit from local, local backyards or local farms, it would likely go to waste or be in the compost and not be used at all. That's why harvest leader Dave Giuliani started volunteering for the nonprofit. Just seeing the number of fruit trees in town are, was just incredible because there were so many fruit trees that were going unused and the fruit was simply falling to the ground. People can register online to have their fruit trees picked. Volunteers do it for free and then they share in part of the harvest, with the vast majority going to Greater Victoria's Food Share Network to help people in need. And nothing goes to waste. We donate all the best fruit that we get um, and then the fruit that we wouldn't donate um, that might have some, some slight faults, we're still able to make into products like the juice that we'll be do, um, giving out here today. All yeah, right, who wants to turn the crank? crank? Last year, Life Cycles harvested more than 30,000 pounds or close to 14,000 kilograms of fruit from more than 300 backyards and six farms. But at the root of what Life Cycles does is building connection and community. It's an amazing community connection. It's so nice to meet the stewards of the trees, the people who own the, the house and the, and the land in that area and of course meeting the other volunteers and it's it just feels great to be putting that fruit to good use. Welland Orchard is also a community success story. Rex Welland donated it so it could be a public orchard for everyone to enjoy. We maintain it and try to keep Rex Welland's legacy in mind. He did an excellent job of um, collecting a lot of heritage varieties of apples and kind of had this idea for a community orchard where people could come and pick their own fruit. And for those discovering this hidden gem for the first time, Welland Orchard didn't disappoint. It's a beautiful orchard. It's really quite uh, amazing. I've never heard of it before and um, uh, there is such an uh, incredible variety. Blenheim orange. Heritage apple varieties and a harvest that will keep giving back for generations to come. Now, if you'd like to check out the orchard, Life Cycles is doing a tour next Sunday, October 26th. 27th rather from 1130 to 1230 there will be also be an orchard care work party that afternoon from one to three vital people brought to you by the victoria foundation connecting people who care with causes that matter